power to recognize an enlightened one how to recognize an enlightened one the last excerpt from enlightenment the ultimate flowering when verily wants to know how one can recognize an enlightened one although there is no set criteria but yet still there are certain things that can be used as criteria the words of enlightened one flow spontaneously there is no effort the choice of words their arrangements and the melody that overflows creates an energy field that cannot be put into words it is the manifestation of inner beauty harmony and bliss that assumes the form of words to manifest innerness fresh and new the words are overflowing out of inner bliss and harmony after enlightenment each word that overflows is like a coin that is freshly minted or the flower that has just blossomed it becomes a scripture that will continue to be the beacon light there is something mystical in the overflows of the enlightened one for which no words are sufficient to explain he makes no effort but yet still it happens however certainly there is something indescribable that cannot be put into any words through such compositions and overflows the enlightened one creates such level of beauty through the use and the mastery of the musical rhythm and rhythm with the play of words that the readers and the listeners not only can appreciate the wisdom contained in these compositions but also reach the higher levels of ecstasy and mystical energy this is seldom found in other such compositions certainly the words connect you to your being i call these as meditations whether there is silence or the overflow of words each create the state of meditativeness the rhyme the mastery of rhyme and rhythm is such that very often creates a new vocabulary using the same old words yet creating new feelings that are associated with the insights of enlightenment creates new vocabulary furthermore often he has such a mastery of play on words or at times he uses the same word with a different accent or vowel twice or even thrice in the same composition each time with a different meaning different explanation one cannot help but marvel at the linguistic mastery that the enlightened one displays through various compositions and meditations that he has created one can simply drown in the essence of it and thus get connected to one's own being in any case 
the end result remains the same whether the commune is still or the words are overflowing. The experience of artistic beauty of these compositions, voice modulations, rhythm and ecstasy, the ecstatic energy and alpha brain waves are all combined with the mental understanding of the wisdom conveyed. Take the listener to the deeper states of the being or to the states, different states of meditation. And thus the listener, the seeker is being carried through various realms of his consciousness. This is as close as one can get to the mystical experience itself without actually being present with the enlightened master. You need not be with him physically present because the choice of the words, the energy field, their selection, the modulation, all these create rhythm and ecstatic energy and such formulations creates brainwave patterns that help to bring a deeper and clearer understanding. In other words, his presence pervades each composition, each word, just as consciousness permeates the entire cosmos. This happens because enlightenment is the disappearance of ego, desire and all that is tangible and connected with the mind. He is using the mind as a mechanism where the words, the message all comes from the realm beyond the mind. Because enlightenment is the state of no mind. It is a state when drop has merged into the ocean. It is the oceanic consciousness that fills its essence as the words are formed. Thought is mind in motion. No thought is mind at rest and Samadhi is witnessing of both. This is transcendence, this is enlightenment. The Master speaks of enlightenment so that the seekers will get the first glimpse and this first far away glimpse is relevant for the seekers for their own growth. Before the enlightenment happens, there are various temporary stages of bliss. These are known as Saturi. Saturi is a state of the person becoming enlightened. When Saturi gets crystallized, your inner space is full of light. It is like this, you have gone to a new place for your holidays. You reach the place in the night. Still you want to get a glimpse. It's a cold wintry night. The heat is on in the room. The place is warm and cozy. Outside it is freezing. You just slide the curtain somewhat and get the glimpse of the outside. This is the state of Saturi. And when you go out in the wide open, you are under the sky, which is stretched far and wide. 
the sun, the moon, the breeze, everything captivates you. This is enlightenment. When Satori gets crystallized, your inner space is full of light. This crystallized state of inner light is enlightenment. This is the stage when drop merges in the ocean. This is near shore of enlightenment. The river of enlightenment needs the other shore for the river bed. For the enlightenment to flow like an undercurrent. And when the other shore is found, the riverbed continues to flow like an undercurrent. This state is known as the state of Samadhi. And not only your inner incandescence guides your emotions, intelligence, and intellect. Instead, the whole existence has become enlightened through you. Samadhi is the ultimate enlightenment. In fact, it is a state beyond enlightenment. First, you become one with many, then become zero from one. This is the whole mathematics of spirituality from many to one and from one to nothingness you attain to utter emptiness within. This is the state of ultimate bliss. As a result for your inner search to attain new impetus, I spoke on various aspects of enlightenment. So this is it, how to recognize the enlightened one. There pervades a totally different kind of aura around him. Whether he is overflowing, he is constantly overflowing sometimes through silence, sometimes through words. Everything creates a mystical concert, you can say, where you go on drowning in it. And that drowning brings you the taste of your own innerness, your own 